Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share a very important tip that will definitely help improve your gameplay a lot. As you probably saw from the title already, I'm talking about predicting the enemy's movement. Even though it's not that easy to practice this strategic part of the game, but if you are conscious about this tip while you are playing the game, you will see that eventually it will be part of your instinct as you keep playing and being conscious about it. In this game I'll be using Franco, my favorite hero when no one from my team wants to tank. These are the builds and the emblem setup. Our S2 player decided to second pick Hanabi. That makes things quite complicated. So I told her that I will go to the middle lane first and see if I can get the first blood. Then assist her later. She should just clear the bottom lane first. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Five seconds till the enemy reaches the battle. Smash them. All troops deployed. Request backup. First blood. Well Instead of you using the flicker right away to escape, I wanted to bait them and make them believe they can kill me. Humans are very greedy, if you can manipulate their emotions like that, then you can control their actions. I am not sure where I heard that from, but I thought that was pretty cool. Even though we got 2 kills, it would have been better if Hanabi didn't lose so much farm from the bottom lane. That definitely wasn't worth it for her. As the ADC, you want to prioritize farming over anything else, especially in the early game. Usually, I will stick with the ADC if you are fighting against a fighter or assassin, but in this case, since Uranus, it's going to be very hard to kill him or him to kill our ADC if he's okay at the game. So I decided to leave the bottom lane and gang other instead. When I play Franco, I try to gang as much as possible, since all he needs is to land a single hook to get a kill, so his early game potential is pretty strong. When you can keep ganking like this, it will give your team such a huge advantage. So even when you are playing a tank, try to play as proactively as possible. I noticed that our Hanabi is not too experienced. He was trying to fight Uranus, when she should just simply clear the wave. There is no point fighting him, since he will just regain back his HP. So now the clock is ticking, and it's definitely not in our favor. I have to make sure we gain as much advantage in the early game as possible, or else in the late game this will become a disaster. How did I miss that hook? Don't ask me. I'm as confused as you are. Always try to predict where the enemies might move next, so you can ambush them. Here Lunox made a mistake, she should have dashed towards the right side instead, because now we are both going to get stunned at the same time and she cannot continue spamming her second skill. If she didn't get stunned, we probably would have come on top here. These little details are very important, it could either make us so win or lose the fight. When you play this game, I would recommend trying your best to think like your opponent, so then you can plan your next course of action. If you are conscious about this tip during your gameplay, you can do something like this. Well, even though I missed the second skill, I don't think it was enough to kill him, but that was a pretty good prediction, right? I will be honest, 
I only play for these moments. This is what gives me the ultimate joy. Here, I can hear Kufra trying his first kill, so I'm going to get ready to hook him when he jumps. Just always be ready to counter the enemy's move, just like a game of chess. Even though I don't play chess like many of you guys probably already know. If you can keep making plays like this when you're playing a tank, you will see that your chance of winning the game will increase significantly. You scare him away so he stopped pushing the lane. Once you are done clearing the wave, you should join your team. But honestly, that should not have been my job. Hanabi was supposed to be the one defending and farming the lane. But a lot of times, you have to fill other heroes' roles. Because not everyone is as experienced at the game. So when you are playing with randoms, this is something that you should always expect. Here, I saw Gusho moving towards the right side of the map. That tells me he will either take the buff or the jungle monsters, so I will try to see if I can catch him off guard. I try to predict his blink, because that will be a lot cooler. But once I saw that he used his blink, I thought I could definitely buy enough time for my teammates to arrive. Remember, whenever you are playing a tank, it's better for you to secure the area so nobody can try to steal the objective, like the Toro or the Lord. Always try to think ahead and predict where or what the enemies might do next. Since we are pushing the middle lane and their blue buff is about to be up, there was a very high chance somebody will come here. By the way, this cushion is a very good player, he's in mythical glory, but it might not look like that because of the amount of pressure we are putting on them. If you saw my latest video, 
then this situation might seem quite familiar. You can see that Guinevere and Uranus are going for the split pushing strategy, which will definitely work because many of us are too distracted in pushing the middle lane only. I don't have my ultimate available, and I saw both Farsa and Hanabi just miss their skill. No point trying to chase a Uranus. But because they got too greedy, now they got caught out of position. Instead the ADC could have just simply gone to the bottom lane to farm all the minions. You can see that the crab, red buff and all the jungle monsters are available. I'm going to wait for whoever tries to defend the bottom lane. Kufra is their tank, there's no point in hooking him first. I'm going to wait for their damage dealer instead. Lord resurrecting soon. A real fighter never runs! This Kufra made a huge mistake. If you saw my latest video about Kufra, then you will know that as a tank, you should always assess this situation before jumping into the fight. I know that Guinevere will try to jump on our Farsa, so I'm going to stop her from doing that. Lunox is fighting Uranus, so let's try to block his escape route. But my teammate seems to be confused. There's no way a hero can just simply disappear. He has to still be around the area. Remember, don't use all your skill on a tank, it's definitely not worthy. So pay attention here, Uranus is about to respawn, so I'm going to use the ultimate secret technique. One million steps ahead. Was it luck or was it pure skill? I will leave it to your imagination. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks.